Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Coaster Blueprints. Last month we did spooky blueprints. In the past, we used to do a thing called Workshop Wednesday, and that stopped for a while. Then last month I brought back spooky blueprints, which we featured spooky creative blueprints for the month. And now for November, we're going into iconic blueprints. These are things that are very native to Planet Coaster, shops and facilities using the themes of such things as fantasy, sci-fi, western, and modern, and those types of things, mixed in with our favorite characters like Cosmic Cow, Chief Beef, Pizza Pen, you name it. So as you can see by the thumbnails, you get a little taste of what we're going to be featuring today, and if you've made it into these thumbnails or these background images in the video, you have nailed it. That's exactly what we're looking for in this iconic blueprint series, guys, and uh, these are absolutely fantastic. So in today's episode, so we got about 43 amazing blueprints to show off. So stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, guys, before we jump on into looking at these amazing creations, if you guys want your creations featured on the show, we're going to be doing this a few more times this month. All you got to do is join our Discord. It's super easy. It's a free app. Download it. Then add Channel 5 Gaming hashtag 0054. Information down in the description. Check it out. Add me as a friend. Send me a link to your workshop. We'll get you in the community. Once you're in, we have a channel where you can post your blueprints. If you're already a member, post your blueprints and we'll get them into the next episode. So it's that easy, guys. Let's jump on into it. All right. The first one on the menu is Lockjaw Books created by Matt Yorshin. Very nice. Love this little sign here. Lockjaw Books. Got a face crafted in. And I guess it's just a memento. There it is. Got some books used from the uh, Spooky DLC, but they're not animated or triggered. Very clever. I got some pirates in here reading some books. Very nice. Oh, what's that say? Where are you, Wendy? <laughs> Employees only. I like the little realism in the back there. Detailed all around, all sides. Very nice work. All right, next up is Cosmic Cow Milk Can, created by Rohana. Amazing. What a good idea, a little milk churn. Ah, camera. God, I love it when that happens. Nice little details with the little flowers and stuff going up and, and the little cosmic cow face built in. Ah, oh, it's so nice. And they're selling milkshakes. Bum, 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 bum. Really nice stuff, Rohana. Alrighty, next up is the Tiki Hut created by Wessery. Small, quaint micro shop, but really nicely done. Really detailed. Neat little flower there made out of baubles and the vines. Tiki Cheeky selling some chicken here. Amazing. Another awesome one, Cosmic Cow Milk Bottles created by Rohana again. Oh, this is so cool. Little caps. I mean, that must have taken a while to get those. They got little cows again on the fronts. And they're all in this nice little cage here. Just a scenery piece. There's no shops included. But it would go very well with her milk churn. Very cool, Rohana. <laughs> all right. This one's utterly amazing. Look at this. Cosmic Cow Spaceship Launcher by Rohana again. Uh, <laughs> love these things. Pull it on the... The little teats there, <laughs> milk in the spaceship, <laughs> and it all goes down. Oh, look, she's used the ooze. Oh, what a great idea! <laughs> so we got banana, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, and it's ah oh, the oozes. Ah, oh, that that's so great. Oh man, that's funny. Lauren did a spaceship a long time ago when she did the Cosmic Cow Raceway. Very similar to this one. Um, and she used my little Cosmic Cow character. Let me see if I can pull it up here. So I made this and Lauren put him in the spaceship. Him, her, sorry. Her. 
and she was flying the spaceship and she had these udders sticking out the bottom and we used the uh, water sprinklers to shoot out little bits of milk. Uh, this ooze one, <laughs> it's a little chunkier. I'm a little bit afraid of that milk, but it's <laughs> hilariously awesome. And we got the rocket ship. It's another one of her milk bottles turned into a rocket ship. I mean, how clever is that? Absolutely love that. Oh, uh, one I gotta I'm gonna be showing off some of my blueprints in this one too, I think. I did a sci-fi Street Fox coffee rocket ship. Much bigger than Rohana's here, but it was all themed towards the Street Fox coffee. And a uh, little bit more intense looking. I, I really love the cleverness, the cuteness, and the playfulness of Rohana's here. Uh, such a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think to do the milk jar like that turned into a rocket because that is such a perfect fit. Really good ex example of what I was looking for in these iconic blueprints. Absolutely love this one, Rohana. Amazing. You know what? Let's take a peek at this one at nighttime. Yes, great lighting. Not sure how I feel about the colors used on the lights here. They're kind of chief beef looking. Well, I guess you have some chief beef lights in there. Huh, it works, I guess. Alright, I'm probably going to butcher the name on this one. Karaoke Health Part 1 4K Hospital. Now, this one isn't exactly part of... Oh, and it's created by Amori. I told her to put it in anyways, and it's not really part of the iconic uh, theme. Uh, I just thought it was so cool that I thought it would be good to feature on this and she worked really hard on it. So, uh, it's a big hospital. It's two pieces. One piece is the uh, parking lot. Another piece is the little garden back here. And then the third one is the giant hospital. Got recycling, pip shop water. It's a little bit of a shopping mall in here. Reception, Princess Emily. Got some sick people. Urine samples. Oh no, some of it's spilt over. <laughs> Bathrooms. Soap sanitizer. Oh, this is hilarious. Little kitty play area. Towels? Gowns and towels. What? You got rock climbing in here. That's interesting. <laughs> What's this? Biohazard? It's leaking out. I guess some, uh. a blood fridge? Alright. Very cool stuff. Amori. What a nice building. I do have to mention this. Amori, I believe it was your parking lot. It had a wheelchair way out here and a wheelchair way out there. You might want to place that down and delete those wheelchairs and re-upload them as they didn't seem intentional. Alright. Very nice. All right, moving on, we have the Missy Goods Giant Donut Shop created by Dextro. Oh, the confetti in the middle is such a nice touch. And the Smarties for sprinkles. Love the uh, little decorations on the front there. Donut Garden. Simple but sweet. Love it. All right, here we have the Pirate Cannonball Donuts and Coffee created by Tilly Twos. Wowee. This kind of reminds me of something from Never Neverland, the Hook movie, where the pirates and the the um, Lost Boys come in to fight the pirates, and they got all these, like, uh, food coloring and things like that, and they're fighting the pirates with them and, <laughs> and splashing them with these balloons full of food coloring a uh, very nice mix mixing in these like donuts and paints and things into the pirate theme it definitely gives off that never neverland vibe uh, but the idea is they're they're putting the sugar on the donuts and craning them along and stacking them 
I think that's very clever. I want to need a little idea. And they sell some coffee and donuts. And there's toilets. I think I might have it backwards. This would be the front. Yes. So there it is. All right, next up we have the hot dog shop by Dodger. It's a ginormous hot dog <laughs> created of basic shapes. And they're selling hot dogs. Nice and savory. Rare! <laughs> Street Fox character spot created by Nuclear Meatloaf. Really like this idea of creating um, little facades with the character spots here. Foxy chilling out at her little stand. Great, great little idea there. Let's see what this one looks like at night. Very nice. So we could take a peek at the other ones while we're at it. That looks real great. <laughs> All right, here we have the pirate character spot by Nuclear Meatloaf again. And I, uh, yeah, I like these character spot ideas. But this one's for Captain Lockjaw. Ha <laughs> Very cool. And this is the Miss Ellie character spot created by Nuclear Meatloaf yet again. This one, you forgot to include the actual stand for her, I think. But that's okay, you might want to put that in. But yeah, I really like this idea, guys. Um, keep keep up with these ideas with the character spots. I think it's a quite clever way of using the scenery. Very fun, and it fits the iconic build perfectly. This is the Cosmic Cow Mothership by Gushin. Uh, he actually won our shops and facility contests with this creation. Now, I do want you guys to try and stray away from uploading your older creations simply because uh, if everyone was allowed to use their older creations, we'd probably be bombarded and um, I wouldn't be able to feature them all. And the reason I went with a theme for this is so that I wouldn't get a whole bunch of blueprints to a point where I wouldn't be able to feature them all. But this is such a good one and it did win the contest first place and I absolutely love it so I figure why not I'll show it again he deserves it absolutely one of the coolest cosmic cow shops existing in planet coaster right now to this date uh, by far my absolute favorite I've made a bunch of cosmic cow shops and I'm a little bit jealous that I did not think of this idea uh, it's amazing the inside the interior is so cool He's got all the little vats and stuff, little robots serving different flavors of ice cream. Um, I mean, it's amazing. Truly amazing. Milkshakes and ice cream. And look at the seats. Little retro diner in here. Some uh, little spot for Cosmic Cow to dance around. This is truly amazing. One of my favorites, and the, the uh, typography on the front is just spot on. This to me is the perfect example, perfect representation of an iconic blueprint using the sci-fi theme. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I, I definitely am looking for, and uh, yeah, this, this is the perfect example, guys. So keep pumping this kind of stuff out, and uh, I'm excited to feature it for sure. Amazing work. Gushin. This is the Pizza Pen Shop. Um, I think there was supposed to be a custom image on that sign of the Pizza Pen. He did not upload the custom image, but that's okay. I just put some curtains in there. Um, they don't have any Pizza Pen signs in the game by default, which is a little unfortunate. But it kind of reminds me of like a little Game Boy or something. A little arcade. It's pretty neat. Alrighty, this is the Monsieur Fritz Restaurant. This is a big one. I love these interactive buildings with the interiors, guys. These are cool. So let's go on in and see what's in here. Love the wallpaper. Little lamps, seating area. Little hostess. Coming soon, picnic benches. Ah, <laughs> yes, the next update. We'll be able to make outside with picnic benches. Kitchen staff. Little depressed guy making french fries. Very cool. I feel like there's a, 
it might be a little bit too big you could have compacted a little bit more gotten a little bit more detail on the exterior and and the interior could have shrunken things down i feel like a dining area like this big would have been fine or even just this big um just to squish it all up a little bit probably doesn't need to be this tall um, and then and then that would allow you to decorate the outside without having these giant vast plain walls Just my opinions though something to think about although. It's very nice another Missy Ellie's creation This is Miss Ellie's saloon created by maze phase bum, 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 bum. Little Western Love seeing it And the pip shops Selling drinks. Oh, they got a pool table. I feel like Floss made that. I might be wrong. Uh, I did see Floss make a little pool table, and I thought it was amazing. All right. Very quaint and cozy. This is the Mexilente Eatery, created by a Wessery. I like the shape of the building. It's very unique. I like the balconies and stuff. Now later on, what you could do is remove the benches and we'll just have picnic tables out front. The guests will actually come out here and eat. And that will be quite awesome. Great use of the colors. Orange and green. You captured the Mexilente vibe. I love it. All right, here we have the Cosmic Cow Ice Cream Factory created by Retro Bar... Barbear? I feel like he changed his name. I think it was Barbie before. Um, what's cool about this is there's the <laughs> ice cream pumps on the side. Now, it's a little bit hidden and you can't really see too much of it, but I really like this idea of creating a giant ice cream factory that's making ginormous ice creams outside on some sort of like um, conveyor belt or something like that. It's it's giving me some ideas. I'm sure you guys are getting ideas from it as well, but I do like the idea of like some gigantic cosmic cow robot that is making ginormous ice creams. <laughs> so something for you guys to think about for the next episode. And there it is. The Main Street Donuts and Coffee by Anik Mandra. Very cozy, simplistic. However, the colors are delicious. Love the way you've colored the left and the right sides the way you have. And your little donut in here and a little cookie over here. The coffee's on top and donuts over here. Great, great color usage here. My only complaint is I want more. Um, I think if you did something a little bit more upscale, just let's see if I can find an example. This is something I made. It's a little bit bigger. Um, I think something restaurant size using these colors and this theme could be quite cool as well where you can actually go inside and there are shops and stuff like that and half of it is Missy Goods, the other half is coffee. Um, just upscaling this a little bit more I think is would be awesome. However, this is good for just like squeezing into tight little areas where you need a couple shops and plop this down much uh, smaller. but. I do think you have something going here with the colors and stuff, and I, I would like to see a bigger version of it. Alright, here we have the Mex Mexican Style Mexilente by Hex Black. Uh, again, with the perfect use of the colors here, a red, some orange, or beige I should say, and green. Love the uh, borders here that you got going. Windows, lots of detail around the back for realism. Overall, a really nicely constructed building. You got a little taco in a fountain there taco sign um, and then the Mexilente shop on the inside very cool and then once you pad this in with grids you can have some benches in here so uh, you can actually fill this space up quite nicely it's uh, perfect really good job Captain Lockjaw Fountain created by Mesopan nice and simple represents the lockjaw perfectly nice little decorative piece for your parks very good. All right, I love the look of this one. Missy Goods Donut Shop created by Wix. All right. Love the uh, uptown city feel of it. You got the scaffold in the back, windows, all that. It's like a little apartment building in the middle of the city with a coffee shop built into the bottom. Buy two, get one free. All right. Wait. Oh, it's a Missy Goods Donut Shop. All right, perfect. 
Yes, seats made out of Smarties. Very quaint and cozy inside. I love the buildings when you can go inside of them, guys. It just makes it so immersive when you put it down your park and you see the guests wandering in and out. It makes you want to go take a closer look at things. And this outdoor patio is quite incredible. Really good details on this as always, Wix. Only thing it could use in the back here is maybe a dumpster and a couple trash bags. But I do like this little runoff pipe here. Really well done. Oh, he's got them over here. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> what was that sound? Oh my god. Oh, he quit. <laughs> so this is the Christmas pa pavilion created by Stero144. I think somebody did message me and ask me if um, the Christmas, like the gingerbread Christmas stuff would count as a... Um, uh, iconic plan planet coaster theme and I said okay but uh, if you guys want to do these Christmassy things definitely save it for next month or or yeah because uh, the workshop Wednesday thing that we're doing here the blueprints episodes uh, will definitely be turned into a Christmas series come December so uh, I, I decided to throw this stuff in anyways if you guys are building it but be sure to save it for next month and that'll start the first week of December so, spoiler alert, this is the Crooked Cabin created by Pretzel. A little confusing this one, it doesn't, maybe he thought it was still spooky blueprint season and he came a little late and didn't read the description. Uh, it doesn't really fit the iconic feeling of Planko, but uh, you can throw it in your swamps or your spooky parts of your park and uh, I'll show it off anyways, so there it is. Alright, this is the Bad Guy's Castle by Retro Barbear. Alright, uh, doesn't really hit the iconic theme in terms of any characters, but it certainly does in terms of fantasy. Um, I'm, what I'm really looking for is if this would have been like Chief Beef's castle or Princess Emily's castle and it's got her colors and her decorations and maybe she's got like a, a little um, feast going on out front and uh, all these cupcakes and different things and characters celebrating and she's up on a podium or something giving a speech and it's using all the colors of Princess Emily. That would be really suitable, I think. Um, but the fantasy is definitely iconic to Planet Coaster. So there you go. Main Street Missy Good Shop created by Retro Barbare again. I think I'm mistaking his name with someone else now that I'm seeing this. Um, ben Barbie was it that I was thinking of? Not sure. Uh, anyways, yeah, cute little quaint Missy Good Shop. And there it is. And this is Street Fox Club, created by Retro Barbare again. All these buildings that he's making kind of go together, so you can kind of make a little tiny main street with these. Very cool. I love the idea of turning Street Fox into a music club, a little jazz club. I think uh, this could be pushed and elaborated on further. Um, yeah, I really do like the idea of it being a nightclub or... A jazz club of some sort and there's coffee and maybe a little band inside if it was a bigger version uh, you could have like a little stage with some of the planet coaster characters playing some music and stuff speakers around a custom song yeah lots of cool things that you could do with this concept and I really like that idea and this is the cinema corner created by retro bar barbear again cinema corner matches his other buildings again Gulpy the movie, love it. A little Jurassic Park <laughs> Gulpy version. Uh, that's great. Really well done. All right, this is Harry's Fantastic Hats created by Byzil. What a cool idea. I love turning the building into a giant witch hat like that. Very nice. Hats Fantastic is iconic to Planet Coaster. This does work, it has the fantasy theme. Now what's weird about this, I don't know what's going on with the shape. I don't know if he's trying to create folds or what have you, but it whatever reason this looks like Donkey Kong to me. Am I crazy? Or does that look like Donkey Kong? <laughs> it's interesting. Very nice work there by Zill. Alright, this is King Coaster's centerpiece. Nice little garden centerpiece for anywhere in your parks. Just something to walk by and look at. Very lovely. And that's created by Jemmy. Chief B Law and Food Order. <laughs> created by Dextro. Very cool building design. We got like a monster burger. <laughs> that's interesting. 
I'm curious to know why you built the Chief Beef like this when you can... You have this guy, and he's like pretty much the same size. That would have saved you a lot of time. Just plopping that down. Nonetheless, it still works. We can go on side too. Alright. Love the little benches. Oh, somebody made a mess. <laughs> awesome. And I love the uh, burger buns for umbrellas. It's a great idea. All right, let's take a minute before we move on to the next row and look at some of these at nighttime. Uh, it's kind of hard to toggle between them when I'm, I'm in, in the moment. And I know some people might want me to take a quick glimpse at their stuff at nighttime. And uh, I, I don't want to do that for every single one. But uh, a quick glimpse is okay. All right, very nice stuff, guys. All right, here we have Lockjaw's home created by Dark Z. This is another uh, entertainment point with scenery. Lockjaw's little house, it's a little tiny shack. I would imagine him to have a much more uh, elaborate house, maybe a pirate ship of some sort, but it's kind of a, a cute idea knowing that he's got his own little tiny um, nook buried away in the corner of the jungle. <laughs> Very fun. All right, next up is the Chief Beef Burger Store created by Jammy. Um, this is actually very reminiscent to the one right behind it, created by Wix. I think they would work quite well next to each other. Chief Beef. <laughs> they threw a Chief Beef out in the back. <laughs> no. I like how you fenced in all the garbage here. It's cool. I have to unpause it for a sec. Listen to this. I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, is it the next one? No, I don't know. You got like a looping sound effect and it's driving me insane. <laughs> what is that? All right, next is the Tea at Missy's, created by Dextro, the first ride skin of the whole group. What a great idea. Uh, it's a tea's teacup. Okay, I got to pause that. Drive me nuts. You got to fix that. <laughs> uh, teacups going around donuts, tea and donuts. I mean, what a suitable ride skin or suitable ride for this ride skin. I really love this. The Missy Goods is great. I actually created one of these myself. Very similar. A little bit different. Uh, this could be downloaded on my workshop if you guys look. Yeah, I love this. Great little ride skin. Let's take a peek at it at nighttime here. Ooh. Very Missy Goods. Yum. Wow. That is beautiful. Really good job there, Dextro. Alright, here we have Street Fox Cafe by... Amig88. Alright. Another interior on this one. Bathrooms. Love the tables. It's great. Donuts and coffee. Alright. Very quaint and fun. Awesome. Alright, this one's super awesome. We got food and drink vans created by Tri40. Saw him posting this in Discord and I got super pumped. Uh, these are wicked. So, we have all the different kinds of vans. Hot Dog Squad van. These vans are awesome looking. Taking a page out of Red Dragon here. Got the Cosmic Cow. And I really love how you've done these little touches to them. You, not only have you changed up like the grills, the fronts, and stuff like that. You've also changed the colors. It's such a simple concept to just swap these things around. But it's actually quite time consuming and a little bit tedious. Uh, so you did a really good job at like alternating them. Even just the... Um, the, the step down areas you've, you've colored them all done it in such a way where it's really bold for the hot dog squad but then really light and playful for the cosmic cow you've added jets onto this one with the cosmic blue flames i mean really great touches here i'm just trying to keep my eye out for some differences these grills along the side and the back and then this one has little pew pew cannons uh very suiting suiting for the cosmic cow 
And then what do we got for pizza pen here? <laughs> I got a little robot arm holding up a pizza slice. Uh, even the trims, the little trims that are on the top are different. Oh, this one, oh, I see. This one just has trim. You've added that in. Little pizza slice trims around the top. Very nice. Oh, little pepperonis along the back. <laughs> this is great. The blinders on the front. The other ones don't have that. Um, then we have the chief beef. A satellite on top. Uh, you could have used the big burger. Maybe it didn't fit. Still pretty cool. Uh, I, I guess you got the siren. That's cool. What's this? Oh, it's the Knight Rider. Oh, they're all... Okay. It's only one license plate in the game, maybe. Cool. Tiki Cheeky. I like how you've used the round bits for the top for this one. Got the menus on the side. The Tiki Cheeky stance. Really great. And look at this! Oh, the Channel 5 Gaming Chief Beef. Oh, love the exhausts on that one. <laughs> the armored van, and they sell balloons. I probably would have gone with just a Momento, maybe? Or the Chief Beef Burgers, because I am the Chief Beef. <laughs> love the Nintendo controller. Nailed little bits of my logo in there. Nailed the colors from my logo. Really awesome job. Thank you so much for that. Who else did some vans like this that we got to uh, mention here? Guy that makes the penguins. Why can't I think of his name? Someone else made a whole bunch of vans like this. He also loves to make penguins. He might even have penguin in his name. And I would love to feature his on the next episode too. Even though they're old. I just think the food truck thing is awesome. Alright, castle themed restrooms by Moosey Dad. It hits the fantasy theme. Um, but not anything else, really. Yeah, I, ju I just think you could probably push the theme of Princess Emily a little bit more, or some of the other fantasy characters. I'm sure there's something out there. But there it is. Captain Lockjaw statue. I really love the idea of these statues, you guys. Um, do more. I want to see more people take their attempt at these statues. Um... This was created by Gushin. Really love this. Part count's really low on these. 103 pieces. And he made it look like Lockjaw with only 100 pieces. It's quite impressive. Quite impressive. Cosmic Cow Mini UFO. Created by Gushin again. Really love this one. I think the only thing it needs is... There. Now it is complete. <laughs> Just these random derpy sprays. There you go. <laughs> and this one's only 118 pieces. Really well done. Alright, here we have the Cosmic Cow statue by Gushin again. Very good. I myself did a Cosmic Cow statue. Oh, mine's much bigger. So if you want a small one, there you go. If you want a big one, go to my workshop. His is only 58 pieces. Oh, I didn't put mine into a freaking thing. Mine is 66? Really? Huh. Well, they're about the same. Mine's 66, is his 58. Uh, but mine is freaking ginormous. <laughs> so there you go. And here is Gulpy statue by Gushin again. Really amazing how you get these details and get the characteristics with such the small pieces. 64, I mean these are the size of characters I believe. Let's uh, actually do a comparison here. Look at that. Almost the same size. Very impressive. I also did a gulpy. <laughs> yeah, so if you want the big one you can find it on my workshop. Mine's 240 and his is only 64. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Big gulpy, small gulpy. Very fun. Alright, and here we have the King Coaster statue created by Gushin. Another a lovely sculpture. The only thing he needs is a crown, but I think he used this for his... Um, this guy was the announcer for his carnival, and I think the top hat is actually very suiting to that. But the crown would be a nice fit. Alright, here we have the Tiki statue by Gushin again. Again, amazing amount of detail. 
for such a tiny character. 97 pieces. And let's take a look at... Look at that. Pretty much the exact same size. Hooey. Really well done. Alright, so there you go, guys. That's all of them. I want to challenge you guys to try and make some more of these characters of different sizes. I showed you guys mine. They can be big. They don't have to be small. Like, if you're using them for buildings and stuff, they end up fitting quite nicely. There's a bunch of other characters that could be done. I also want to challenge you guys to... What did I mention earlier? Like, stuff like this is absolutely perfect. Sci-fi, Cosmic Cow... Uh, rocket ships. You could do a fantasy cosmic cow farm. Um, I love <laughs> Ray's, uh, who was it? Uh, Rohana. I love Rohana's milkshake rocket ship. This is the kind of stuff I'm really looking for. So out of this series so far, guys, I think my favorites are going to be the sci-fi cosmic cow, but that doesn't really count because it was old. Definitely Rohana's here. This one's really cool. The t donuts from the pirates. Uh, I loved Wix's uh, Missy Goods modern building here. The only thing it could really use is a little bit more touch of Missy here. Uh, this, yeah, definitely one of my favorites is this Missy Goods ride skin. Want to see? I would love to see more like Chief Beef ride skins. Um, different other characters. Think of think of the characters and try and do a ride skin. This thing's just freaking out. <laughs> this one was also a really good one. Chief Beef modern building. But I definitely could think we could push some of this stuff further, guys. As I mentioned with the castle, we could do a Miss Emily's... Kind of do it like a um, Alice in Wonderland where she's having tea time or something like that. Yeah, there's a lot of cool ideas. I think this Mexalente shop was a really good one. So take a look at some of these examples that were used in this episode, guys. There's a lot of... All of them were great. I think some of them did better than others. But I think all... I mean, I featured them all. And I think um, a lot of them were really good but there was a few that were definitely stood out as winners in terms of exactly what the iconic planet coaster blueprints should be i also really do enjoy these the character sets these ones were really fun the miss ellie one the captain lockjaw and we had one over here with street fox coffee i think you could push the ideas a little bit further with those and make them a little bit more decorative um, this one was also very fun. Lockjaw's home. Lots of good stuff in here, guys. Pretty fun episode so far, and I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys interpret the episode and how, what kind of ideas you get from this. Uh, this one was really good as well, Missy Good Saloon. And then from there, see what you guys come up with for the next episode. So really good job to everybody who participated in this one. And for everybody else, post your blueprints in the iconic blueprints uh, chat in Discord. And if you're not a Discord member and want to participate, Come join us, guys, and have fun. Blast your workshop blueprints in here. And if you guys have one that you think is up to this kind of quality, and you've already made it, like, within the year, I'll let you guys get away with a one-time post for older blueprints, so long as they're up to this kind of quality, and they hit the character, the theme, the colors, the vibrance, all of that, and, uh... You know, because the, the whole episode is about capturing the spirit and the, and the anniversary of Planet Coaster. And that means showing off the four core themes as well as the core characters and bringing them together cohesively. So keep posting, guys. Keep having fun. And, um... And that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. If you guys would like to support the show and keep it going, you could do so by becoming a patron. All right, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.